So recently a company called Norwal reached out to me to review their new vacuum cleaner. It is a self-cleaning vacuum. So I just received it in the mail and I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys. So this is the full package. And in the box, actually two separate boxes. So here is the actual Norwal um, vacuum cleaner and then this I'm assuming contains the self-cleaning portion of it. So let's turn it around. Um, yeah, here we go. So I went ahead and got everything unboxed so y'all can see exactly what was included. And there's the actual vacuum itself. Here's the docking station where it self cleans. Over here we have some different mops and replacement heads as well as the instruction manual. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up. There's an app that has to be downloaded. So I'm gonna do that first and then get everything plugged in and then we'll go ahead and test it out. As you can see, here's the quick start guide with step-by-step -step instructions as well as the QR code to download the app. So I just went ahead and got it set up on our Wi-Fi network and the app is downloaded and now it's charging and I'm about to press this home button to let it start mapping out our house. So it's starting to map right now. There it goes. <laughs> so the cycle just started and now it is going to clean the mapped area. So here it goes. Hooray. notification from the machine that while it was cleaning that the actual uh, little reservoir where it holds all the dirt was full and it needed to be cleaned so it returned back to the docking station so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and show y'all what it looks like now that it's full okay so here is the actual little tank that holds all of the dirt and dust so I'm gonna go ahead and empty it out, but also on the side here is the little thing to clean, and as well as like a little razor blade to cut in case any hair or anything gets stuck inside. So we're gonna go ahead and empty this out right now. And we're gonna put it back in and let it get started up again. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and empty the dustbin. As you can see, this is all the dirt that it's picked up on the floor. And this is the filter right here. So we're gonna go ahead and empty this out. Woo! And yeah, that was a lot of dirt in there. My floors are very dirty. Okay, so we got, went ahead and emptied that out. We're gonna close it back up and we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the machine. Back up, put the dust bin back in. And snap it back into place. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put it back in here. So it's charging and then I'm gonna go ahead and press this to go ahead and get it to restart. I press the play. Start vacuuming. All right, there we go. Okay, so now that I have let the narwhal go through and learn the room and vacuum everything, I'm gonna go ahead and test out the mopping system. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move the vacuum and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go ahead and remove the actual pieces here. As you can see it just pops right off. There's like a little magnet right here to put it back on. And then I'm going to place this to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and install the little mop piece. So it says I'm just going to push down like this and it locks into place. I'm going to go ahead and do this one as well. Um, so I've got that ready to go. The robot is in the base station. Please press the start button to continue mopping. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And inside we have the clean water tank and the wastewater tank. So I'm going to remove the clean water tank and I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some water. And I'll be right back. Okay. I am back with 
the clean water tank and I have it filled up almost to the max line. And then I have these little um, Narwhal special detergent sheets and this is for the mopping system. And it basically says on here, after you've filled it up with the clean water, you're gonna put one of these sheets into the tank and then start the mopping task after one or two minutes. So let me open this up. And this is Daisy Scent. And pull the sheets out. All right, so here's one of the little sheets. It kind of feels like a piece of foam and it smells very good. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there and it's gonna start dissolving. And while that happens, put that to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and while wait for it to dissolve and then put the clean water tank back into the system. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this and let's give it like a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and let's see, we're gonna go ahead and start it. Mop cleaning. And here it goes. and you can hear it filling up with water right now. And now it's switched to mopping and here it goes. And as you can see, my floors are very, very dirty. And I'm kind of terrified to see how black these little mops are gonna look after I remove them. <laughs> See the narwhal is mopping every nook and cranny of our hardwood floors. It's doing a great job so far, and I honestly hate mopping. I mean, who doesn't? So this is a great feature. And once it is completely done, um, it'll go back to the station and self-clean itself. So it'll deposit all the dirty water and put it in the dirty water tank. So I will touch back with you guys once it gets to that step. All right, as you can see, it says right now that it is washing. So it's cleaning the mop right now and taking all the grime that it picked up and putting it into the dirty tank. So once that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and take a peek inside and see what it looks like. Okay, so it just said start mop drying. So it's drying right now. Um, and while it's doing all that, I was going to chat about some of like the pros and cons. Um, I would say like it does take a while because I have a large space to get everything clean. And there was a couple things that it got hung up on. And when it did, it notified me so I could go fix the problem. But I have a lot of stuff on, on the floors of my house because I have kids. So that's just a given. I would say definitely make sure everything, wires, all that stuff like they recommend is picked up before you start. Um, and then as far as the mopping goes, um, it did touch my rugs a little bit here and there, but nothing crazy. Um, it would get off of them pretty quickly. And it does have like a little barrier that you can put down so you can completely keep it out of certain spaces. Um, so if you don't want it to mop or go in an area, you can definitely use that as an option. Um, but yeah, so far it was pretty self-intuitive and easy to use, and it's going to save me a lot of time in the future for, um, cleaning up my floors. And with a little baby at home, who's always on the floor, I want to keep my floors as clean as possible. So I'm going to be able to do that with the help of the narwhal. So, um, let's touch back in a few minutes once it is done drying. All right, so we are back here at the Norwal docking station and we are gonna go ahead and check and see what the wastewater tank looks like now that it's cleaned the mop. And, oh, eek. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty disgusting. Um, makes me think, man, I should do a better job of cleaning my floors. Um, but luckily I'm not gonna have to because the narwhal is gonna do it for me. Um, but yeah, it obviously did a great job because there's definitely a lot of dirt and grime in here. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. What do you guys think?